Hey what's going on guys, my name's Nathan and welcome back to the Snack Saloon. Today I'm doing some Indian snacks. I went to an Indian market like I mentioned in my last video, which was the Omani snacks. And I got a lot of Indian stuff. I got some cookies, some, some kind of strange things I'm not really sure of. But m mainly cookies here and biscuits. I'm going to start off here with the first thing that actually caught my eye when I was in there. And these are Happy Happy Biscuits. These are twin flavoured fun and they kind of look like Oreos. And you can see the packaging is really like brightly coloured in pink and blue. But yeah, that's the first thing I thought was Oreo. The brand is Parley, and it obviously products of India. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open these up and we'll have a look at them. Okay, the biscuit itself does look like an Oreo. It just has like a grid pattern on top, but the smell is a lot stronger. Like it's like a really artificial strawberry smell. And the cream—I don't know how well you can see the cream in there, but it's just white on one side and then pink in the on the other side there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this. It, like I said, it does smell good. The best way to describe it is just like strawberry Oreos, you know, like a like a fake strawberry taste. Just really sweet. They weren't bad, but they were very artificial tasting. For a small packet like this, though, it's pretty good. Like, and this was like 47 cent as well, so can't go wrong. Next up, we've got some more Parley cookies. These are Parley G Gold. And I also got a big multi-pack of these. These were like $2 for this whole pack. And obviously the packaging caught my eye at first. And these are just original Gluco biscuits, and I presume this is what they call digestives because it has the wheat down at the bottom, and you generally see that on digestive biscuits. I'm just going to go ahead and open up this small pack since that, that big pack's obviously just full of these little multi packs. And the biscuits themselves just say Parler G on them, and they're just like a plain, like there's nothing on this at all, so I'm pretty sure you would dunk this in tea or something. Let's give this a shot. It's not too bad. That's just like a plain sort of wheat biscuit. Very similar to digestive, I would say. Not exactly the same, but very similar. Like, I could imagine dunking this in tea. Yeah, that's, there's nothing to that, it's just a dry biscuit. Then I got these, this is by the Britannia brand, and these are Tiger Glucose, and they have a little tiger mascot on the front there. And I've, I see this Britannia brand a lot there. I guess they got the Omani snacks in the same brand. Apparently they do foods from different Middle Eastern countries as well, but obviously these are from India. I think the brand itself is actually headquartered in India. But well, they just say, yeah, glucose cookies again, so they're, they're probably going to be the, exactly the same stuff as the ones I just tried. Okay, again, they're a little bit smaller, as you can see compared to my hand, and they say tiger on them this time. Now, I presume they're just going to taste the same. Yeah, pretty much. A little bit softer, though, I don't know why. But again, just that plain biscuit taste. Okay, now I'm going to switch things up a bit. I got these. Now, these just say Aldirums. Mung dal salty fried split mung bean snack. When I first saw this packet, I thought these were popcorn, like you know, just the kernels. But apparently, it's just a snack. It looks like lentils or something. So this was like an impulse buy. I just saw this at the next to the checkout and I thought I've got to get this. This was a dollar seventy nine. No idea what it is. Okay, these are literally like little lentils. I don't even know how well you can see them on the camera. I've got them in my hand here. They're just like really tiny. I guess beans, as they call them. So let's just. Let's just give these a try. There's no real smell, I don't think. No, not really. Okay, let's just give them a shot. Can't really say there's much flavor to them. Maybe if I try some more. sweet taste there's nothing really to them there's like 800 calories in this bag though so they are filling but there's no taste to them but they're i mean they're pretty good for what they are i guess and now i've got some more parley brand i've got two of these fab one of them is orange one of them is strawberry i think they had a chocolate one as well i must have forgot to pick that one up but i'm going to start off with the strawberry one these are like sandwich cookies similar to that oreo one that i just tried i wasn't expecting the actual biscuit to look like that it's got like chocolate chips in it by the look of it again the same sort of strawberry smell Let's just give, take a bite out of this. Not exactly the same. The strawberry filling's not as artificial tasting, I don't think, in this one. But you definitely get the taste of the darker biscuit and the chocolate chips. I'd say that this one's, I don't think it's as good as the one that looked like the Hello Kitty, the Happy Happy. I don't think this one's as good, but it's still decent. 
then I'm going to try the orange one. I'm going to presume this one tastes a little bit better because generally I do like orange flavored biscuits. Yeah, give this one a smell. Yeah, it'll just smell like orange. It smells pretty good. It smells like the club bars in the UK. Have you ever had an orange club bar? That's what it smells like. Definitely the better of the two. Literally just tastes like a club bar. I just noticed I completely forgot. I got some of the chocolate Happy Happy as well, which was you know, the ones I said taste like Oreo. I've got some ch the chocolate version of those. I just noticed the description says twin flavored fun. Okay, obviously this one's just the same thing, but instead of white and pink cream, it's white and chocolate. Strong smell of chocolate as well, so let's give this one a shot. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The chocolate actually doesn't taste artificial at all, it tastes pretty good. I'd say this is better than the strawberry one. Okay, and then last up I've got some more Parlay, these are Parlay creams. I've got different flavors here. This one is gold elachi. This one is gold chocolate. This one is gold orange. And this one's pineapple. I can't say I've ever had a pineapple flavored cookie or biscuit before. I'm gonna start off with the original ones. Elachi, which whatever, I don't really know what that means. And these again were the buy three for 99 cent. But those four, four flavors, so I just went ahead and got all four. The whole haul at the Indian market was less than twenty dollars for all the Indian stuff for the Omani snacks. It was really cheap. And these are these little, they have like a flower on top. Oh, that's a strong smell. It almost smells a bit spicy. I don't know what that could be. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite out of this. I'm intrigued now. There's definite spice to it. I was expecting vanilla or something. I want to say it's almost like ginger or something like that. That's the, the smell I'm getting with the taste. But it's not 100% ginger either. It's not like you're eating a ginger nut biscuit. It's just an underlying sort of spiciness to it. Definitely one of the most unique biscuits I've ever had. Okay, next up I'll do the chocolate. Hopefully these aren't straying away too much from what they say on the packet. They again, got the same flower design. They're a little crumbled up, these ones. They must have been thrown around some, somewhere along the line. Yeah, these ones smell like straight up chocolate, so I don't think there'll be any surprises here. Not the best chocolate ones I've had so far, but they're not they're not bad. I don't think the, the chocolate taste is as strong as it could be. Okay, next we've got the orange ones. Hopefully these live up to the expectations. Because the last orange ones we just tried were really good. Okay, here we go. This one actually broke apart. You can see how little filling there, there is in this one. Like barely anything. But anyway, it smells as good as the last one. So let's, let's just give it a shot. Again, that's really good. So far, my favorite things have been the orange flavored biscuits. And then, finally, I brought the pineapple one. Like I said, I've never had pineapple in a cookie or a biscuit before. So this is gonna be interesting. I can't imagine how well it tastes. It's kind of like a lime green color. It does smell exactly like pineapple. Okay, let's, let's try this. Wow, that's strong. really strong to see how little filling there was on there. They're better than I thought they would be. I thought it would be kind of bad tasting, but they were pretty good. I still prefer the orange ones, but these are probably second out of those four that I tried. The vanilla one was a bit too spicy, and the chocolate one just wasn't strong enough for me, so these ones come close second. And that's gonna be it for all these Indian snacks, guys. Hope you enjoyed looking at these. I did get quite a lot. I mean, it was mainly biscuits, but I wanted to do a video on them nonetheless, because the last Indian cookies I had, I wasn't sure if they were export only or not, so I wanted to make sure I had some legit brands this time. I'll be going back there, like I said, to get some Pakistani drinks and probably some more. If I could find something else from more countries, that would be perfect. Please leave some comments below on countries you'd like me to try next. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.